What's up, YouTube? It's you guys, the Hot Chat Hot Wires, back at it again with a banger. We hope you enjoy our video on how to make a clinical step. You may recall from our video on the effects of microgravity on organisms that clinostats are a very popular method of simulating microgravity on Earth. They can simulate microgravity on plants and on tissues. They consist of a disk that rotates along an axis. This slow rotation prevents the cells in the sample on which the experiment is being done on from adapting to the gravitational pull in one given direction, creating an effect of microgravity. We also recommend that you watch our video on gear ratios and torque to understand this lesson better. You can build a clinostat using Lego parts. It essentially looks like a big ferris wheel, so it's easy to picture. To build the base, you can connect a lot of flat panels. Then you can mount the actual clinostat on top of the base, also using panel pieces. Clinostats are supposed to be slow, so you have to use a very high gear ratio. The gear ratio shown here combines three different gear ratios of 1 to 4, 1 to 5, and 1 to 5. When you multiply these gear ratios, you get 1 to 100. That means that this clinostat is very slow, but it's also very powerful. Typical clinostats run at about 0.3 to 3 rotations per minute. Now, we will demonstrate this clinostat in action. This is the program that we will be running on the clinostat. You can change the power to suit your needs. Let's run the program. You can connect the specimen that you would like to be doing the microgravity experiment on, on to any of these beams. And since the clinostat has a very high gear ratio, it has a lot of torque, so it can move reasonably heavy specimens. Now, we show you some pictures of our Lego Clino stat from several different angles. watching guys hope you enjoyed it please slam a like subscribe and hit that notification bell as hard as you can